my friends, this is Rick and this is your seat at the table. Welcome to another wonderful weekend. It is Saturday the 31st of July, I believe, and we just had a, a nice good soaker overnight. It's kind of dreary out there, uh, but I thought it was a great day to do videos. I was going to mow the lawn, but no. Okay, <clears throat> this here is the Middle Earth Adventure Guidebook. And for adventure, it's kind of a misnomer. It, it, it doesn't quite... Isn't quite when I first looked at it. When I remember when I first saw the shelf, I thought, "Oh, lots of ideas and suggestions on on for adventures within Middle Earth." And and at the end of the day, that's not really what it was. It also came with a two foot by three foot full color poster of the map of Northwest Middle Earth, which I still have somewhere. I used to have it. Uh, uh, it was a poster I had on my wall for years. Uh, I know I ran into it a while back, but I, I was trying to find it, couldn't find it. So anyway, what we got here is basically an Elvish dictionary in glossary of terms from J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit and the Lords of the Rings were used for Middle Earth role playing, role master, and other major FRP games, fantasy role playing games. So we look at the back. This was published. The original was published in 1984, which is what this would be first a first printing. I don't. Remember, so it seems like they reprinted it in 89 or they made another run on it. Uh, basically, gives you a breakdown uh, an Elvish dictionary, pronunciation guides, grammar guidelines, translations to and from uh, English and the Elven tongues. There's a glossary of terms, a handy reference for Middle Earth characters, cultures, etc. And then, of course, the big map. So, in reality, there's no adventure ideas or suggestions or alternate rules or anything like of that nature for the most part it's just a premise on how to speak the English uh, the, the Elvish language so you got notes on pronunciation vowels quinia notes on Elvish grammar this uh, syndron sentence structure translations from the Eldarian tongue so it, it, where it is handled, a bit handy if you come across a reference in, uh, to a place name or something and it doesn't give you a, a English version of it, uh, which is pretty rare. You could look up the words in here and or the reverse, of course, if you're trying to come up with place names for yourself. So if we want to go the, the dread... Uh, a bite and dreadful, we could have a, a, not, a Nahata Nahir. I probably butchered that terribly, and which would be hard for horse for myself. But you can see that just goes on and on and on. Glossy of terms, so the breakdown of what is what. You know, the Anur or the Holy Spirits, Divine Spirits of Uru, born out of Uru Sat. Although they are formal spirits, they have male and female genders capable of assuming corporal form. Most of the Anur reside uh, with Uru in the timeless halls of Saida Ah, but a few, the Valor and Mayor, reside in Ah, etc. So. Right. You know, here's Dornell, Beacons of Gondor, Baron the First, Son of Batterhor, Dimbar, Dunedain, you know, so pretty much every name and place setting and whatever is given it is uh, what it is. It's a Lord of the Rings dictionary in some ways, if you want to go that route. All right. So there are, like I said, there's no other real game related stuff it's a nice little book i can't say i've used it a lot uh, the few times i used it mostly was when i was creating an adventure and i wanted to come up with a a, a tolkienish suitable name for a for a hill or for a town in an area etc etc i looked up some stuff in here but for the most part it really it's just it looks it's, it's a cool little thing, and it's more for your perusal than it is for game game work, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. I don't know that you can get these anymore. I'm sure there's a few bouncing around out there. I can't imagine. Well, they I, I imagine they're probably more popular with people who are fan, uh, uh, fans of Tolkien's world than the game part of it. But that's just my opinion. And this is Rick, and this is your seat at the table. Till next time, my friends.